I have to involve myself in that match. And, All right. And we're That's underway. Axel Rico, a house of fire. And Joey Avalon escapes. Flying out of the ring and landing on top of the champion right in the entrance way. Axel Rico is on fire. The people are shaking. And they are the rattling. They They're are ready rattling. to riot. If you don't win, and now the guy's turning around with the sign showing you, they're ready to riot. Like I have any control over what's going to happen. Don't worry. I've been made for riots. I can't wait. Then again, if he wins, there's no riot. It's a celebration in the streets. Because you know it's going to spill out into the streets. And there, it may very. Very may well. Yeah, sorry. you're gonna carry him on his shoulders and all that stuff. You see it all the time. I'm sorry. After 10:30, my my voice turns into a pumpkin. Yours too? Yeah. You hear the glass breaking all over the place? They're throwing each other around. Axel Rico just got cl thrown clear over the ring guards and into the first and second row. Almost by the door. Bad things are happening right now outside the ring. Well, Joey Avalon wants to retain that title. So any threat to his title, or a perceived threat, I should say, he's going to deal with the way he feels necessary. Oh, my God. He just bashed Axel's. Axel just got Joey, bounced him off the merchandise table. And they are going outside, outside into the night of yeah. Franklin Park, and everybody's running out after him. Well, I'd like to say I know what the hell's going on, but I don't have x-ray vision. I'm not Superman. Look at the entire The facility. entire crowd is walking out the door. What the hell is happening here? We are, we are violating like 900 ordinances. People have followed them out the exit as they're fighting out in the parking lot. We don't know what exactly is happening. We apologize to you viewers at home. We can't call the action we don't see as we don't have it on our monitors. Right now we are. Like it. Wait, I see Joey Avalon. He's back out. The people are now filing their way back in. <laughs> Taking pictures, you can see the light from the camera. There, all the various cameras. As Axel Rico somehow is working his way back, you see the champ make his way back to the ring. At this point, we have a wall of humanity in front of us. Avalon and Rico, part two. It is spilled outside the ring. It is spilled outside the venue. God knows where it's going to spill next. We can see Axel Rico. Avalon blocks that with his foot. Axel takes a shot to his face, and back in the ring they go finally. How much can these men take? We are going to find that out. As we've seen last month, quite a bit. Axel Rico elevated out of his mind, tattooing Joey Avalon in the face, and out he goes. That's a good analogy. And that was an Axel Rooney like I've never seen. And these people are absolutely insane for their hero. What will Axel do next? How is he going to find a way? Oh! Did I think he I just see? hit him with a glass bottle or a beer or something. Jeez. Good Lord! The champion for 302 days. Who left 
has dominated the CSW, and he has never faced an opponent who gave him the challenge that Axel Rico has given him. And Avalon is pulling, trying to pull Axel Rico into the ring by his hair. I don't think your neck is supposed to turn that way. No, it is not. And he is really working that neck. Oh my God, no. Oh, geez. Avalon has no soul. Nobody's got Sierra. So he's doing pretty good. And he's the CSW champion. Avalon right now manhandling Axel Rico. Back into the ring he goes. Kevin Woods is our referee. Five-time Futures Division Battle Royale winner himself. Fans are giving the business to Avalon. They are not happy about what is what is happening here. Avalon finally returns to the ring. If we could keep it in the ring, that would be a good thing. Avalon telling the crowd to be silent as he continues to punish Axel Rico. Avalon, like a crafty veteran, calculated in every move he makes. Smacks him right in the face. Fans chanting, Joey sucks. And it's distracting him. And it gave Axel an opportunity. Axel Rico has said very publicly that he is going to have to render Rico. him unconscious. He will never quit. And he's not quitting. We could clearly see it here. Lesser men would have quit. Lesser men have quit. Greater men than him. Well, there ain't no greater men. Firing Axel Rico into the turnbuckle. This is a great man. That's why the champion feels threatened. He's continuing this onslaught. What an elbow in that corner. Another one. Avalon showcasing why he has been CSW champion for a long time. But Axel Rico gets out of the way and gives him a European uppercut of his own. Oh, missile drop kick. That was very nearly a transition of champions, but not to be at least then. Kevin Woods right where he needs to be in position. Where are you? People are going absolutely insane. Fans are holding their breath. They can't believe what they're seeing. Oh my! That might be it. Talk about a punctuation mark. Axel Rico kicks out. He finds a way after eating the mat with his face. You're still on my side, right? No, Stan, this is the biggest match of the night. Let's go. Well, I can't even see. Well, you stand up. That's what we do. Well, I'm two feet tall. That's I can't see. All right, sit down. You're right. You're only two feet tall. Papa Smurf you are. No, don't stand on a chair. Jeez, I don't have insurance for this. All right, now. Oh, God. Let's see. Axel Rico is draped over the second rope, and Avalon hits him from the outside, pops him, and he's lifeless in the ring. That as a Avalon boy. is entering. That back, a boy. Back into the ring. Picks he's up got a chair, chair. And he props it right in the turnbuckle area between the first and the second rope. He's Perfectly legal in a DQ match. And he's making sure it's steady and it's in place. And now he goes over to his listless opponent, the challenger, he is Axel him. Rico, who won a Futures Division Battle Royale in the past and is now thrown into that chair, but comes off with a forearm to the champion. Another forearm, a series of forearms and a chop, and the champion seemingly is jolted in the corner. But he throws him out of the ring. He throws Axel, Axel Rico, Rico hit, out of the ring. He hit the ground awfully hard. He picks up the chair again, the champion does. Puts it right back. He tells the second. chair to stay like the, like the chair's a dog yeah, or a cat. Yeah, he's talking to it like you can understand him. Well, That's not weird at all, Joey. It is working, though. 
so it must understand them somehow. Can you believe 302 days as champion? Man. Evalon has a look of frustration on his face, like he is wondering what he's gonna have to do. Oh, Rico is reverberating, and he's popping right in the midsection. Oh, but the double axe handle. Wondering what he is gonna have to do to put Breaks Axel Rico away. Picks him up, throws him into the turnbuckle, head first. Axel has been beaten within an inch of his life. Props him on the top turnbuckle. And Avalon climbs, or he begins his ascent on the middle rope. Is it gonna be a suplex? He's got him, or he had him in a suplex Oh God, position. no. Rico's fighting him, headbutt. Axel Rico saved his own life with that headbutt. And a knee right into the charging champion's head in a Hurricane Rana attempt, but Avalon picks him up into a power slam. Oh my! Power bomb, I should say, and it wasn't to be. He was thrown into that chair, propelled by the legs. One, two, and oh man. Joey Avalon's head has an impression on that chair, yeah. and we are selling that after the show is over. Oh, that's a good idea money-making idea. Rico is pointing to that chair and he grabs it. He's picking it up and he intends to use it. He fully intends to use this chair. As he should, it's a no disqualification he's match. He's going to the outside of the ring. Avalon is draped, trying to make his way to his feet. He might be on the other side of the ring. He hit that steel chair flush. Yeah, he's trying to climb to his feet on the other side. I can't see what exactly he's doing. How can't you You're see? Rico You're eight on... feet tall right now. You could have a conversation with Cypher at this moment. Something from under the ring. He was looking under the ring. I can't see from my vantage point here. More chairs. More chairs, yep. Lots of chairs. That's what I was saying. All right, so we got some more chairs that he's going to use in this little disqualification match. Picks him up in the play ran in scary position. The champ gets out of it and some hot kicks him right in the face, but he is still on his feet, Rico is. Is he going to do that? Oh, no. Up? Is he going to execute? Do not do this, Avalon. No. Come on! It's that. Oh, he tried his inverted power bomb, a weird modified power bomb. And now, actually, Rico. Oh, oh God. Right into that. Mess. Axel Rico might be dead. Oh Lord. The champ goes for the cover. It could be. It might be. And it. It isn't. It isn't. Kevin Woods counted to two and three quarters. Or two and nine tenths, maybe even. The crowd in stunned silence. Well, they want their hero to win. They are on the edge of their seats. They're absolutely breathless. The champ gets to his feet, and he has a chair in his hand. And he's stalking his prey. Axel Rico and is in a bad way. his challenger by the hair again. Axel Rico barely conscious at this point. Conscious enough to do that, I guess. Yeah. The knee. Oh, oh he got, no! He got that chair right in his stomach and now on his back. The champ is asserting himself in a most vicious way. And it's done. Oh, oh it's not done. You could feel that chair it shot all done. the way I, in Villa Park. I thought that man, I thought, man, I thought that man was done. And you're right. They can feel that chair shot in Villa Park, in Elmhurst, in Norwich, in Harwood Heights next to it in Schiller Park next to us here in Franklin Park. I think Avalon's been busted open. He may be. Looks like it. He's oh my. Destroying him with that chair. He is going to make a statement tonight. Man, he's just vicious. Assaulting him over and over. There's got to be some internal injury. And the cover has got to be it. And he kicks out. 
And it was stop. only a one count. How the hell do you take that much punishment and kick out at one? I, I think I'm gonna throw up. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This man is taking so much punishment. And you don't want to keep seeing this. And I'm a violent man. I could stomach a lot. And they're chopping each other now. They're exchanging these heavy-handed chops. Where did Axel Rico find this? Still exchanging chops, but they're reeling more and more. And the champ is telling him, give me more, man. But does he really want more? Avalon bleeding profusely at the moment. And a, a movie once said, if it bleeds, we can kill it. That yeah. was Arnold. Yeah. He was talking about a predator, wasn't he? Yes, and that's what Joey Avalon has been he for almost certainly. 300 days. 302 days. Yes, to be that's exactly it. And his first victim was the longest reigning champion in CS in territorial wrestling history, national wrestling history, 12th longest champion in wrestling history, Phil King Brubaker. Joey Avalon carrying on a humorous conversation with the ref. God only knows what they're talking about. There are dueling chants. There are exactly. Both for the champion and the challenger. Oh my. I don't even know what to call it. And Axel. Axel's got it! In an STF? It looks like an STF. Or a modified version of it. Is the champion gonna tap? <laughs> what was that? Oh, he got the rope. He got the rope. He can't be disqualified. It's a no disqualification match. He didn't let go of the hold. He still has the hold. And it's a no disqualification match. Axel doing, trying to do the impossible. Will he get it done? Is tonight close, his night? Very close to having a new champion. Wait, wait, he's got the shovel. There's something I can't see from my vantage point even though I'm propped up. Towards the ring. He's using that shovel. Axel may be moments submission. away from fulfilling his dream. How is the champion withstanding this? And here comes Sierra. Sierra has attacked the challenger, and it's a no disqualification. Perfectly match. legal. She got her champ, our champ out of the predicament that he was in, and she's attacking him, but Axel stops her. A kick of his own. And Axel kicks Sierra right in the face. He's got the shovel. Oh, man. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Nobody uses a shovel quite like the champ. That's for sure. Whoa! Well, some choice words. And that sailing foot. How the hell did Axel he kick out. out of that? He kicked out. He kicked out. Never say die! Joey Avalon can't believe it! He is a bloody mess and he cannot put Axel Rico away. I don't think any of us can believe it. This is what a champion is. Axel Rico is what a champion is. This guy has used every weapon at his disposal. Chairs, a shovel, you name it. And he still can't put away Axel Rico. Even now he's got a chair and he couldn't do it. He didn't hit him, a drop kick. Onto the chair that he was holding, yeah. propelling the Axel's chair. Axel's got him up! Fireman's carry. This is it! Oh, Shane my. Kicked out. He kicked out. 
the people beg to differ. They are saying that it was three. It wasn't, it was close. Axel Rico has been destroyed, but is still standing somehow. And the roll up. One, two. And the referee is being accosted now. You're not gonna get anywhere with that ball. He got him. And he got him. Here. How much more can the champ himself take? Avalon has been rocked. And mentally, he's not in the condition he should be. And he Axel is put... about to strike. The lights are off. The what the hell off. is happening? The light... Oh no, we've seen what this What is happen happening? Before. This is never good when something like this happens. Oh, dude, this is not good. The people are using their cell phones. Oh phone. no! Oh no, you oh, sons no. of bitches! It's BXB! Oh no. I can't, oh no. No, this is not good. This is not good. Hollister is mocking the people. Marston, Shane Boucher, and Jay Black Marston, and Brave. Solid what the move. hell is happening? And Shane Hollister, it's a no disqualification match. They're attacking Axel Rico. If this is the way it's got to go, if this is the way you beat Axel Rico, are you a champion? Are you a true champion? Utter annihilation. This is unbelievable. This is utter annihilation. This is an atrocity. This is an atrocity. God bless. How did. Uh! This is terrible. This is very unfortunate. And the referee. And Kevin you can't Rose. really blame Avalon for this. Avalon thought he was going to be attacked too. He's still in a fighting oh, position. He is. And he they is. have hit every finishing move on poor Axel. He's in a fighting position. What in the hell just happened here at falling down? He's confused. Black and Brave the, Army the, the just destroyed Axel Rico. The champ is reluctant to even He is going to need medical attention. Look, he's reluctant to even cover his challenger. He doesn't know what's going on himself. Insult, to, oh for God's sake, I can't watch. Like he really had to do that. Well, we've seen what we've seen. Joey Avalon retains the title. And I don't think he's- With the help of the black and brave army. I think even Avalon can't believe it. But look. You notice something? Do you notice something? What? These people were ready to riot. And they're subdued now. After they're not gonna riot now that they seen Hollister, Marston, Boucher, and Tupu destroy their hero. As God is my witness, Avalon and BXB will fall. But how? Under what circumstances? All right, listen. Stan Payne, that we have seen in a hell of a night tonight. Falling down yeah. has lived up to every bit of its billing. But I gotta go check on Axel Rico. So I'm gonna need you to take us home. You got it. You got it, GM. Ladies and gentlemen, September the 16th, 2022, is gonna go down in wrestling history as an atrocious day in wrestling history. Because if you have a challenger, like the people's champion, Axel Rico, destroyed, utterly destroyed when he's on the verge of winning the CSW Championship. What is left of the sport of professional wrestling here in Chicago, Illinois, the most violent city in the world. And that violence is very evident in how everything has gone down tonight here in Franklin Park at the American Legion. We'll get some medical attention! On this show appropriately named Falling Down. Most of the wrestlers were getting ready to leave. 
as this show has gone on longer than expected. And they're coming from their cars in the parking lot. They're leaving their luggage. And they're running to check on uh, an Axel Rico. We don't know the status, obviously, of his medical condition. He had a brutal match against the champion where we saw multiple weapons being used, chairs specifically, a shovel. They had gone out to the parking lot earlier in the match. He may be suffering some very serious injuries and hopefully he's not because he is resilient and he is a naturally tough individual. Just like all our CSW superstars are. Rico's being helped out of the ring. Someone is playing with these lights. I do not like this. Every time we see the lights go off, 98% of the time it's not something good. And this time it wasn't. Joey Avalon retains his CSW championship with a win over Axel Rico under nefarious circumstances after the interference, interference, excuse me, of BXB.